Hi, I'm Nathan Sanderson, Executive Director of the South Dakota Retailers Association. We've completed the second week of the 2021 South Dakota Legislative Session. It's scheduled to go for 37 days, and we've got 29 left. In any given year, the legislature introduces between four and 450 bills. Thus far in 2021, we only have about 150 bills introduced. It's still very early yet, so there's a lot more left to come. The first few weeks of the session are often devoted to addressing bills that originate in the executive branch, and this year is no different. We've seen a variety of what are called agency bills. These are bills brought forward by individual departments of state government. Now, many of these are cleanup bills. They're updating statutory references to dates, adjusting style and form, uh, addressing different modernizations in the language, the kind of things that don't really have much of a substantive difference in the law. That means that action on the big topics will take place in the coming weeks. On marijuana, for example, discussions are ongoing, but there's no clear consensus on how to proceed. Knitting together IM26, which gave regulatory oversight of medical marijuana to the Department of Health, with Amendment A, which gave regulatory oversight of recreational marijuana to the Department of Revenue, is going to take a great deal of work. I anticipate that businesses will not be able to legally sell marijuana in South Dakota until next year at the earliest, possibly even 2023. I also expect to see legislation that will delay the implementation of IM26 to coincide with Amendment A. But it's really too early to say for certain what's going to happen. Now, we've been actively engaged in two other topics as well. Food delivery by third-party delivery services has been a concern for some restaurants, and we continue conversations regarding the proper approach for notifying restaurants, coffee shops, and other eateries about potential deliveries by third parties. This is Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub, Postmates, and others. No consensus exists on the proper path forward, so if you have ideas, suggestions, or comments, please email us at info, that's I-N-F-O, at sdra.org. Now finally, the South Dakota Retailers Association has been coordinating a group of more than 40 supporters to provide liability protections for businesses, schools, churches, hospitals, and others from lawsuits related to COVID-19. The goal is to prevent frivolous lawsuits against entities that are serving the public throughout this pandemic. Now we drafted House Bill 1046, and that bill has been introduced and is making its way through the process. We're optimistic that it will be favorably received by the legislature so we can give business owners some peace of mind that they won't be subject to legal liability related to COVID-19. We'll continue to engage with the legislative process for the next couple of months, so to find out our positions on various bills or for informative summaries on various topics, click on the Advocacy tab on our website, sdra.org.